Hi guys, how you doing? We should have a fairly light what's new Wednesday today, but then again, you never know. You know, you never really know. Are Margie's cards over there or did she take them with her? I hope she didn't take them with her. Did she put them in the card box? I wanted to show those for tomorrow night. Um she borrowed them. Hmm. Text her. You have her text number, right? Text her and ask her if the cards are here to show them. All right. Everybody hear me okay? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Annette and Rob and Brenda Pinch and Sharma. I saw lots of other names up there. Alice, good to see you. Give me a one if you can hear me, guys, please. Annette, good to see you. Laura, thank you, Laura, for the answer. Okay. How's everybody doing? Hi, Kim R. Hi, Mary R. Good to see you guys. Loud and clear, they say. All righty. Let's get at this then. Let's get at this. Let me move a couple of these things that are bigger off my desk. Did you guys notice that we added a new category to our store. Can you put me on hands, please? Okay. Did you guys notice that we added a new category to the top of the store? Does it say Easter? Huh? Does it say Easter? No. no. Like it doesn't. One's Easter. It says, hi, Maryland. Good to see you. It says Ashley's Bargain Bundles. Can you back up just a little? Huh? So Ashley had the idea that she would like to bundle up like products so that you, will you grab your dog, please say this. Um, that she would like to bundle up like products so if people want what they need to get started with a craft or if they need, if they want to give a gift that they would have like products all ready to go. So this was Ashley's idea. And now we have Ashley's bargain bundles. We have two bundles up this week. This one is the Prism watercolor pencils. It comes with the, a pad of uh, 30 A5 watercolor sheets from Prism. And it comes with the Prism um, Crafting Handbook number two, specifically for watercolor pencils. So this was Ashley's idea. If you buy the bundle, you save 10% off the base price of this one. So if you've been thinking about getting pencils, here's your instruction book. Hi, Karen. Hi, Mary G. Um, you, here's your pencils, here's your pad. Here's your, in, um, your inspiration and instruction book. You are all set and ready to go. So first of Ashley's bargain bundles this week. We'll start showing you those each week. I've asked Ashley to put at least one together each week. This is another one. These are fresh. They are fine. They are great pens. These are Nouveau watercolor pens. Um, they're called Aquaflow pens. You get five sets. You get the Arabian Nights, which has French wine, wild uh, phlox, cinnamon stick. You get Surprise Party. This one has Mango Mimosa, Flamingo Pink, Indigo Batik. This one is called Woodland Walk, and it has sliced kiwi yellow ochre, and caramel pecan. This one is the Dream in Color bundle. It has just peachy, sweet pea, and Hawaiian orchid. And this one is spiced ginger. Oh, this is autumn woodland, uh, not woodland walk, but autumn woodland. And this one has spiced ginger, rustic oak, and evergreen fern. Now, these are first quality markers. However, 
I want to move them and trade out inventory because we try to watch really closely our shelf life issues. And so in the interest of moving this one along, this is 60% off. You get this bundle of five sets for the price of two sets. There are only, I think, three listed at this price. I believe there are only two of the um, Ashley's Bargain Bundles for the watercolor pencils. So if you've been thinking about trying aqua markers, this is a great deal on aqua markers. I will tell you that I don't think that the pens have as much ink. It's nothing wrong with the pens. They're just not manufactured with as much ink in them as what you get in the Hunky Dory pens. And you guys know, I'll tell you, the good, the bad, and the indifferent, they will still last just fine for the average user. But if you want to do 30 of the same cards and color the background, you know, you might want to consider a different one. These are in the bundle. They are in the Ashley's Bargain Bundles. Why don't you link that for us since there seems to be some interest in this one, honey. It's up in Ashley's Bargain Bundles. It's the Nouveau marker set. <coughs> the Nouveau Aqua, Aqua Flow markers. It is marked. Is it not showing? It's not showing yet. Okay. Well, watch it. Watch us. Right after, watch this, right after the program today, I probably didn't push it to the store. My fault. I do have the listing done. I just didn't push it to the store from where I created it yet. If you want this, get it immediately because I think there's only three. And I do have these marked down 60% off. You're getting five marker sets for the price of two. The Ashley's Bundles is right there, but I think the only one in it right now is the pencils. I will push this right after right after class today because that's my fault I didn't do that. But our new category, Ashley's Bargain Bundles, Ashley's Ideas. You guys can say, hey, Ashley, you did well because this is all – Ashley gets to make these choices. I will price them, but Ashley gets to make the choices of what's in her bundles. We also thought that when we have things like, oh, I don't know, a set from Find It Trading that comes in that might have four or five dies and the papers and the stamps that, hi, Thelma, hi, Pam, hi, Ruth, hi, Diane McIntyre, hi, Sandy. Um, what, when we get one of those big sets in that are all kind of themed, we will give you the opportunity if you're interested to get that whole big theme bundle also. And once again, they'll be bargain, you know, they'll we'll drop the um we'll drop the price down a bit for getting the full bundle. So anyway, Ashley's bargain bundle, something new to look forward to. So each week we have Brit's bargains and then we have Ashley's bargain bundles. <laughs> All right. Let's look at my next big thing on my desk. We have more of this in. It's in the house. It will go up this week. But I told you we'd get more of the um, GoFo yarns back in. We were out of virtually everything. And now we have them back in. This one is called Pink Poodle. Some of you know this one. It's kind of a vintage pink color. Faux fur! Yes, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. I love working with this. It's so soft on your hands and your projects just turn out fabulously. So we have that one. We have Husky, which is the gray. It's kind of a brown gray. Beautiful. Tipped in those lighter tips. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, I can't, you cannot help but pet this when you have it in your hand. Hi, Karen W. Good to see you. Hi, Martha G. Okay, this one. I bet this is zebra. Nope, this is panda. This is panda done in white and black. Um, there is another black and white one, but the black and white patterns are a little bit different in that one. So this one's panda. Oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> it's just so nice to touch it. 
This is baked Alaska. This is the white. Beautiful. I did one of my friends a, in fact, that's what I sent to Rita. I sent Rita a white hat and a white fingernet towel to go with it. Oh my gosh, she loves them so much. All right, and along that same line, I got two kinds of pom-pom makers. Um, I got three of the clover ones. They um, Two out of the three sets were broken when they came in. So I could only put up one of them and that sold out. But fortunately I had ordered another one after that. This one is called, uh, is all about you. It's yarn accessories and this is a pom-pom maker. It gives you a set of three to make pom-poms from one and a half, two and three inches. You get all three of them in the kit. So, ah, oh, a package coming tomorrow for them. Wow. So there you go, three pom-pom makers in the same package. And this is now up and listed. For those of you who are wanting pom-poms for your knitted hats, we were able to get these for you. I have read online that they work really well. There are some instructions on the back. I have not used this. So um, I have the, <laughs> it, the, the clover ones came in packages of two and one of the small ones wasn't broken and one of the big ones wasn't broken. So I kept the broken packages and took the two good ones out and I'll try my hand at using those, but these are also available. So pom-pom makers to go with your yarn projects. I know, what are we doing with yarn projects if we're a paper crafting store? Because we love crafty things. <laughs> we have to try a little of everything, right? Okay, add to boxes, please, and give some to Bob. <laughs> okay, all right. Bonjour from France. Hello, Catherine. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, Simon Hurley stamping foam is back. This is the one that Roberta has told you about that you can make stamps out of anything. If you have a, a stack of coins, you put them out on the table, you heat this foam and it, you get it heated up, then you set it down over your coins and it will emboss that pattern into the foam. You can use it as a stamp. Then when you're ready to use it for something entirely different, you heat it again, it returns to its original shape and you can use it yet again. This is also great for reversing the images on your rubber stamps. If you think it would be really fun to have the exact opposite design, let's say you have a trellis stamp that has, you know, uh, really nice lines that you can stamp but you think it would be fun to have that trellis background and actually have the vacancies between the lines show up as the stamped image. You can heat this foam, put it on top of your rubber stamp. It will pick up the image. You can use that as a stamp as long as you want to when you're done with it. If you choose to, Oh, tree reflection in the water. That would be fun. That'd be very fun, Kim R. Um, when you're done with that stamp, if you want to, you can heat it up and reuse the block, or you can choose to keep it. These come with four blocks to a package, and they're very reasonably priced. So these sell out every time we get them. The people on Amazon buy them up. So if you want one, get it. This is my third order of these. Now, Brittany always yells at me when these come in because they take a lot of room, but they never last long. So she really doesn't have too much to complain at me about. But um, get these if you want them. They never last, guys. They go out as fast as they come in. So grab it if you want it. I will link it in the newsletter tonight. We have just a bunch of different random things today. Okay, I love these. This reminds me a bit of the imagery that you, those of you that were lucky enough to get the Victorian Valentines on sale. Those of you who got those probably don't need this, but 
These are little wooden stickers. They're wooden blocks that have very classic Victorian Valentine imagery on them. And I ordered them for our Valentine's sale. They didn't get here in time, but if you want them, they are here now. They're so pretty. We can always save them for next Valentine's, but they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so there you go. Oh, Roberta is saying that the um, Simon Hurley um, foam blocks will work with your foil die plates too. Good, good thinking, Roberta. Okay, so there you go. Our little Victorian Valentines. Here is a heart pocket card. I thought this one was really cute. Look at all these wonderful designs you get. Whether you use them as a heart pocket or just use them as heart designs, I thought this was really beautiful, but it would be really easy to make a heart pocket design with this. I think you can see, because we tend to be three-dimensional thinkers, we craft people, you can see where your fold lines are there to create a little pocket in the form of a heart. This is a good size heart. Um, let me see, where's my ruler? I know you, maybe it says on here what size it is. Uh, no, but I do have a ruler here. Your heart pocket card will be four inches by about three and three quarters. So it'll be a four inch card. And isn't it cute? Yes, you can send it to Bob at this address, Catherine. <laughs> He's out here, but he's sleeping, so he's not hearing me say it. You can send it to Bob at our regular address. Hello, Loretta from Arizona. It's so nice to see you. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, in advance for all those Valentines. That is super cool. There you go. So, actually, Bob Hamilton is his legal name, believe it or not. He's a Bobby. Bobby Hamilton's his legal name rather than Robert. Okay, this is what your pocket card is going to look like. And there are all of the embellishments that you can put on it. Isn't that something? Isn't that cute? You got little layered hearts. Why don't you bring him in and let him make a brief appearance, would you? There we go. I love this one. This is so cute. So cute. This is from Studio Light and it's called. It's called something. It's well, the number of it. Let me give you that. S T E N C I L F W L 353. Stencil F W L. 353. The heart pocket card. Kevin, where are you? Where is you, buddy? He's under the table. I got him. I got him. I got him. In honor of Valentine's Day, he's wearing his red Christmas sweater. <laughs> and he gotta wear his sweaters. Can you come up? What's what mama do with your treats? What what mommy do with your treats? You gotta get Teddy on Teddy Cam so you can see his his other family members. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Oh. So glad you're feeling better, Ruth. Can you sit please? Oh, what a good boy. Okay. Down you go, down you go, down you go. Yes, what a good boy you are. See his other Christmas sweater Bob bought him. See, he's wearing it now because it's almost Valentine's Day and he needed to be dressed in red. He needed to be a dapper boy. Yes, let's have one more. Oh yeah, so well trained. <laughs> yeah, maybe not so much. 
I told you guys he went roaming the other day. He's just fine, but he went outside and then he wouldn't come back when Bob called him and called him. And so Bob came in and said, the puppy's out. And so people spread all over the country and brought the puppy back. <laughs> Ashley actually found him. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, you wanna go see daddy? You go see daddy? You go see dad? I'm at a treat, so you probably better go see dad. You want to go see Grandpa? You go see Grandpa? Here's your Grandpa. He has to sit up with you. He's going to be in. Because <laughs> they don't want him to. <laughs> he tried to jump to you. <laughs> oh, that dog is braver than he is smart sometimes. All right. Okay. All right. One of your favorite products has been restocked. I went in and looked, and we were just about out of everything in Stickles. So here we go. I'm reading your numbers or names. We have here Cranberry is back. Some of these are new. Some are restock. We have Waterfall. Cranberry and Waterfall, both beautiful, glittery. There you go. All right. We have rose gold and we have yellow. You can see right through those. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. All right. We have here lavender. Is that lavender? I should have somebody else besides me reading these. I can't read it through the material on the bottom. bottom. Wow. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to show you the bottles two at a time. You can read the labels online. <laughs> I can't read them through the, through the glittery stuff. But you can see it online. Is Margie on here? Okay, and we have, uh, maybe not, I bet they're just thinking that she's running the camera. We got Bryce on camera today. This one I can read. This is Icicle, and this is Copper. Those I know. Margie will be here tomorrow. Yes, Margie will be here tomorrow. Margie's doing your class tomorrow. Did she say her cards are or not in the shop? All right. This one's called Cosmic. I can read that. They put the writing in white on the tube. And this one's called Ice Blue. they beautiful. We have Gold. And we have Mermaid. Mermaid Tail, I guess it's called. Golden Mermaid Tail. That Mermaid Tail is really an enchanting color with that purple with lots of pinks in it. We have here Unicorn. And we have Mercury Glass. I believe Mercury Glass might be new. Mercury Glass which is a gold with lots of yellows in it. And the unicorn, oops, yeah. Unicorn has pinks and yellows. It's a very warm icicle color. And we have cool mint and we have palm leaf. Those would be beautiful together. Palm leaf and cool mint. Really two very different greens. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, this one 
I can read. It's grapefruit. And this one. Wow. And they put them in dark print on the dark color. It's really hard to see. I can't read that one. Grapefruit in this beautiful blue color. <laughs> and then we have sea glass and black diamond. Sea glass and that black diamond is just stunning too. We have sunflower and sorbet. We have crystal and we have glam pink. We have, this one's just called green, and we have orange slice. These colors are so beautiful together, aren't they? <clears throat> this one is called steel, and this one's called lime green. This one's called Sunburst, and this one's called True Blue. Oh, isn't that True Blue just yummy? Oh my gosh, that's pretty. And I can see these yellows being beautiful in the center of flowers and things. This one is Hibiscus, and this one is Goldenrod. This one is can't read it. This one's silver, and this one is sea foam. Sea foam, <clears throat> silver and sea foam. Dogs down. And this one's Christmas red. So there we go. Lots and lots of new stickles. We love stickles. <laughs> yes, we did. All the stickles sold out over Christmas, but they're back now. Here's some slimline cards in from Peterson Arn. This is a hundred pound card which is like the, um, almost like the 300 GSM. 300 GSM is, 100, is equal to 110. So this is really nice weight. These are three and a half by eight and a half slimline cards. And we also have smaller sim, slimline cards. These are 6.25 by 3.125. And they are also 100 pound. These are 10 card packs. These are great sizes, actually. I can see these being super duper useful. Okay, next up, we have restock on a couple of our colors of Mary. We, this is the eight and a half by 11 sheets and we have flourishing green back in and imperial blue has been reordered. Oh my gosh, you bought a big kick machine for 10 bucks. Did you buy it? Oh my gosh, that was good. Kathy girly girl. That was good. Even if you just give it to somebody at that price. Yes. All right. Now, this is from Birch Press. It's a set of three dies, but this time we decided to list them together because sometimes people have a problem with the Birch die sets in seeing all three. 
this is the same die cut in different sizes so that when you cut them, you layer them up. I have not seen Peacock. I'll go look. Hopefully it's one that will be released to us and not a and not one just for another country. I will go look, Betty. I haven't seen it yet. I will definitely go look, though. We will be bringing in the birdhouse or the bird song, whatever it is, the current bird one. But this is a set of three dies. We get this beautiful egg. And when you cut these eggs from different colors and layer them up, they are truly spectacular. Birch Press Designs. All right. Oh, it's for club members. Yeah, I don't. I, that's what I wondered, Ruth. I don't think I can get it. Bummer. This is what we've been waiting for. This is from um, Pink Fresh, and this is a plate. This is a foiling plate that allows you to use your uh, designs. That, you know, you're, you'll cut, you'll use a sheet and then you'll use something out of it. And then you have that sheet that has the, you know, for lack of a better way of putting it, the reverse pattern of what you just foiled still on the sheet. This plate right here allows you to do double duty with those cut sheets. We'll be able to foil the remainder of the sheet. I've been waiting for this to offer my foiling class. I need to get a little practice in on it, and we'll do foiling within the next week or two so that we can show you how to use this pink fresh. This is going to double the value of all of your foiling. Woohoo! Really, 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 really neat. Really neat. I was watching a demo of this, and it is spectacular. Okay, Irene Taylor, good to see you. All right, I brought in two new 300 GSM paper packs. I'm going to go ahead and split the sides of this one so they can show it to you. These 300 GSMs, remember, are absolutely perfect, perfect for use in your explosion boxes. I'll look for perfect day, Irene. I don't know. I did look just the other night, and the only new one I had for me to be able to buy was the bird one. But I will look. Maybe they've listed something else. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. These, I believe these are double-sided. We'll find out. 12 by 12 sheets. This one is called Blush and Blue Florals. For a good reason, I think. Yes, they are double-sided. We'll go first one direction, then the... Oh, yeah, that's better, honey. Yeah, just go ahead and open up, because these are nice big patterns. There we go. Now you can see both sides. Perfect for your explosion boxes. Here's your all-occasion ones. Mother's Day birthdays. Note that we have not only these big, beautiful patterns on one side, we have some corner treatments and all over patterns on the other. Beautiful, beautiful. I was really excited to see this in 300 GSM paper. That very first. <laughs> that very first um, card that we did with the explosion 
boxes was paper from Crafter's Companion, and it was 300 GSM. If you've been dreaming of the days of using that paper, here you go. This is a 300 GSM. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. Okay. Next up, we have blush and blue pearl paper from Crafter's Companion. Now, if you are doing an album as opposed to doing explosion box cards, or even if you're doing explosion box cards, we have these beautiful solids that match that collection that you could use together in your explosion card or and look see the pearlescence gorgeous There's another one of these coming, uh, another one of these um, prints with solid collections coming, I believe, in lavenders, assuming that I get it, but I was back ordered on it. You can see that pearlescence on it. It's gorgeous. These are beautiful. There's some pink to go with it. Peach tone. Or they call it blush. And that's the end. Double-sided papers in solid colors. Really beautiful packs, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Crafter's Companion. They're called Blush and Blue Florals. I'll link them for you in the newsletter. Okay. This, <laughs> I should have opened and tried today. This is a set of eyeglass magnifiers with a light on it. They just look like eyeglasses, but you put them on and they have a little light on them. And they're made specifically for crafters by We Are Memory Keepers. We brought in just a couple pairs of them for you to try and see what you think. The, these are called magnifying glasses. Um, I do not know the answer to that, Roberta. They are white core. Those papers are white core. I can see the white edge on the cut edge of them. Okay, so we have our magnifying glasses. That's it for what we have here. I want to, I wanted to show you Margie's cards for tomorrow, but she seems to have moved them somewhere that Bryce and I can't locate them. I just had them in the house and I, Photograph them. They are in the listing and they are in your newsletter. So be sure to take a look at the craft kit for tomorrow night's class. On Saturday, I thought that since we are kind of in the heart of this Omicron thing, that it would... <laughs> I need those glasses for surgery, the doctor says. Suction, please. And I'm like, where? <laughs> um, since we're right in the heart of this Omicron thing, I thought we should try some tangling. Now, you guys have probably heard this called Zen tangling, but this is not officially Zen tangling. Zen tangling is is a specific licensed branded set of products 
and the Zentangle, Zentangle has its own licensed teachers. I am not a licensed Zentangling teacher. So I'm calling this my um, Tangle. What did we call it? The, no, um, the time, uh, what did I call it? Tangle, oh, Tangle Your Tension. Tangle your tension and um, doodle your drama. That's the name of our class. Tangle your tension and doodle your drama. You are going to get in this week's card kit, you're gonna get some stencils. Now you're gonna get some brass stencils. We're gonna use those to put down the outlines of our projects because some people get really stressed out about drawing the outline of something. And I don't want to focus on drawing the outline. I want to focus what we are really going to put our attention to is how we decorate them. And so we will be tangling our tension and doodling our drama. So this is an example of what one might do using tangles. Come in a little closer on these designs, honey. This one happens to have been done by, by Lauren, and it's a different design than you're going to get. And don't look at the cups and go, oh my gosh, I don't think I can do that. No, well, you can't do this. We are going to go through some basics, some very basic designs, and we are going to then draw our designs on with a template and we're going to decorate the inside it's fun it's easy it's low stress in fact it's you know if you will allow yourself to relax with it it's virtually no stress you can see that we could easily take these designs and make cards from them if we wanted to we could use them in scrapbooks we could do all kinds of things. We happen, one of the ways we're going to use ours is we're going to make a necklace this weekend. We're going to tangle a heart design, and then we're going to make a necklace. It will, uh, all the components, <laughs> all the components to make your necklace will be in your weekly kit. You're going to get the chain, the bottle cap. You're going to get the sealer. You're going to get the pre-cut paper. And we are going to tangle it together. I wanted to just show you, since we have lots of time today, because I didn't have a huge number of, of projects, I thought I'd show you some of Lauren's other tangles that she has done. Once you start this, you can have so much fun with this. These are some that Lauren did. It is a bottle cap. Mary, it's not a true bottle cap. It's one. It's a manufactured bottle cap for crafting, but that is what we're going to use for our necklaces. Here's some little horses that she made. Here's a turtle that she did. You can see that sometimes when we tangle, we fill the whole space. Oops, that one she actually attached. I to pull up the whole thing. Yes. This is very similar to one of the stencils I'm sending in your kit. There's a lily stencil she has. Everybody can do this, especially since we are going to give you the stencils. You don't have to draw, freehand draw, the outlines. I'm giving you the stencils so that you can, we just are going to fill them in together. And I promise you, we're going, I'm going to give you instructions. You're going to get two sizes of pens. You're going to get a fine tip Sharpie, and then you're going to get a precision pen. You'll get a notebook to save some of your favorite design elements, a little notebook. You'll get all the components for the 
all of the components for the necklace. Here's another of Lauren's. You can tangle in color. She used, she did this one. Good night, Catherine. She did this one using one of my great big templates and a larger sheet of paper. I love this one. Isn't that pretty? That looks so hard to do. It's really not. This is not a hard design at all. I'm going to show, I'll show you how to do that one. It's really quite easy. So many, so many fun things you can do when you learn to tangle. And it's such a wonderful, relaxing pastime to tangle things up. You can get all kinds of ideas just looking around you at patterns to repeat. But I'm going to give you a bunch of patterns to get you started. And then, excuse me, that I'll have you record in your books. And then we will look at this one she did. This was one of the samples out of her book. But... You can do it. You will be able to do this, Roberta. I absolutely promise you, you can do it, babe. You don't think you can, but you can. Because it's super simple to do. There's really no rules and there's no right or wrong. It's just, there's more cups. It's just making up designs as you go and then watching to see how they fill in. You will be able to do it, Diane. I promise you, you will be able to do it. I, have I steered you guys wrong? Have I gotten you into anything you absolutely could not do with my help? Is there anything at all I've given you in the last two years to do that you just flat couldn't do? These are all Zentangle, well, not Zentangle. Some of them are Zentangle. Some came from the Zentangle books. Others are just ideas she came up with, and I had a lot of brass stencils around here. So she went around and picked up stencils and played with them. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing on Saturday. And the reason we've chosen to do this on Saturday, oh, that was one of mine. This right here was one of mine. <laughs> um, the reason I've chosen, oh, this was one of mine too, actually. See the little dab in the corner? <laughs> the reason I've chosen this is because... <laughs> You can do it. You absolutely can do this, guys. So we're going to do this because it's extremely, extremely relaxing. And you are going to have so much fun doing it. So there you go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to tangle our tension and doodle away our drama. <laughs> Big stress reliever. I'm going to tangle our tension and doodle our drama. That's what we're going to do. So I will have a class kit up for you. Uh, Bryce and I will probably put it together. It won't take very long because it's not a huge class or a class kit. It just has a few components. But I will have everything for your necklaces. I think I made this one too. I believe I did. I think I made the one with the cats. But... Anyway, the turtle made you dizzy. <laughs> but you're going to make a pretty little heart pendant. And we're going to have lots of fun. Yep, tangle. No rules, just imagination. 
and it's pretty hard to stay stressed when you're doing these little these little doodle things. Did you ever notice that? When I'm feeling stressed, I'm on a phone call. I always can tell because when I get done, I look at my scratch paper that was there for my notes and it's covered with doodles. <laughs> yes. So that's what we're going to do on Saturday. We're going to, we're going to um, do tangles and doodles. <laughs> and it's going to be great fun. And you're going to love it. You are going to love it. Okay. Do you guys have any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom for me tonight? Be sure you check out Margie's cards online. Doggone it. I don't know why she took those with her. I'm pretty sure she did. I saw her packing up her stuff, but I didn't think to tell her, leave those here. <laughs> it's going to be great fun. It's going to be great fun. So uh, do you show and teach us a different? Yes, I'm going to show you. In fact, I'm going to have you actually make some of them with me. Whether or not you have your class kit yet, you can get some, just come to class with scratch paper if you don't have your kit yet. Come to class with scratch paper. A tangle is just another word for a doodle, Mary. Just another name for a doodle. The kid is not yet in the store, but it will be really soon. I think I just need one more supply brought up from downstairs and we can put the kits together. But if you don't have your kit yet, as of the time that... We get to class on Saturday. Just come to class with a pen, a pencil. If you have two widths of pen, that's good. Maybe a gel pen and a Sharpie and a um, just some scratch paper that you can write on. Um, it'd be nice if your paper was heavy enough. It doesn't bleed through, but that's not absolutely the case. Thank you, Roberta. Um, that's not absolutely the case. You can tangle on anything. You can doodle on anything, as you know. You can doodle on the envelopes to your bills. I mean, anything you want. So um, just come to class with paper, pencil, couple different widths of black pens, and we will, we will, I will show you all kinds of fun patterns to get started with. Okay, a black pencil, a black, two kinds of black pens if you have them. Your cats kind of look like tattered lace ties. Yeah, they do. They were they were actually, um, I should credit the manufacturer of the dye. It was a, I think it was one of the DreamWorks dyes, but I'm not sure. Um, yes. Oh. oh, no, two year and two month old with COVID. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Boy, we're seeing a lot more kids get it. So come to class with pencils, pens, paper, and we will just have a great time. Oh, I once doodled a frowny face on my way huge gas bill. <laughs> and it probably made you feel at least this much better about that way big gas bill. <laughs> we'll pray for those little ones you talked about and, and for Betty's mom and... Any other crafty friends who have friends or relatives that are suffering right now, we will all say a prayer for that. And we'll be here for you, okay? All right. If you haven't yet left a thumbs up, please hit that thumbs up button. Makes me happy. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of the fun. And if you hit the subscribe button, you can be reminded of when our new videos are coming up. So um, let's get that done. And if you're not a newsletter subscriber, a few people have said, um, I've said things that lead me to believe, not necessarily tonight, but lead me to believe they're not newsletter subscribers yet. Every Wednesday after we do What's New Wednesday, I do a newsletter with links from all of, for all of the products or, or where to find the products in our store. So be sure that you sign up for the newsletter if you haven't yet. Um, do you have a newsletter link that you can slap in there or not? Okay. I'll put a newsletter link in the, 
I'll put a newsletter sign up link. Hi, Sandy. Thank you. Um, we will, um, I'll put a newsletter link Oh, in the newsletter. That's silly, but you could pass it on to each other that way if you wanted to. And um, I will put a newsletter link below this video. That would be the place to help you. I'll put a newsletter sign up below this video. I will also put a link to Margie's class for tomorrow so that you can get that. My class for last Saturday might be sold out at this point. I'm not sure. So there we go. We will see you tomorrow for Margie's class. Until then, stay safe. Love you guys. And good night, Gracie.